It's the right time. A sign of the times. The Eagle's growing rapidly. It's the highest incomes in the state. We're starting to get to the point of needing our own services. As the city of Eagle grows with around 30,000 people. You can still go down Old State Street and there's corn growing down there and then there, there's all these large subdivisions and then you go another mile and there are cows and horses. So it is still rural, but going through a change. Mayor Stan Ridgway says not having to leave town for services is, is important. They're trying to focus on providing more services for people who live in Eagle. People would really like to not have to travel outside of Eagle to do things. I know I would. Uh, I think that it'll get a lot of use. A luxury movie theater is one of those things the city and developer, Hawkins Companies, think the Lakemore commercial subdivision is prime for. Hopefully we'll have them open in October of 2019. The theater itself was approved a couple years ago, not without backlash. Brought before city council again on Tuesday, they gave the Lux Real Theater design review approval. A 28,000 square foot, 657 seat theater. We really like this, the, the Lux Real Group because they're local. Hawkins Company says there won't be food service like the Village Cinema has, but there will be recliner seats. They're going for the true movie theater experience. The theater, one of many buildings in the growing 25 acre development on Eagle Road, south of Chinden, where T-Sheets calls home. Boutique fitness studios already took over, and a second office building is in the works, plus restaurants, an organic grocer, and more. We we saw a need, you know, there's there's high demand. The employment is a big deal for the city of Eagle as well. Some feel this will bring more traffic to one of the busiest roads in the state, Eagle Road. Others say it won't add to what's already there. It will actually create more Eagle traffic inside Eagle, not going somewhere else. The theater, the restaurants, it's, it's the current demand, it's the current population, it's the current traffic patterns that are drawing and wanting them to locate there. In the bedroom community, this development, a sign of the times, of inevitable growth. We can keep our standards high and uh, that's what we're trying to do. We can't have no growth and we can't have it out of control. It's finding that compromise and I'd say every city is different. Mayor Ridgway says the city is really heavy with residential taxes and really light with commercial taxes. So more of this will take some of the burden off homeowners. And I want to mention too, in case you didn't catch it, this is the first movie theater in the city of Eagle. So I want to know, what do you think? What do you think about the theater? What do you think about traffic issues on Eagle Road surrounding this development? Weigh in on my KTVB Facebook page. Kim. Well, Morgan, it seems like every time we turn around, we hear about a new development happening somewhere in our area. And here's another one. All right. Thank you.